Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the first, right around the first. Now keep in mind the timing is fluid. I just cut the deck. We got the Page of Swords reversed and the Strength card. So the Page of Swords reversed is probably a message you don't want to hear. Um, there's going to be a need to restrain yourself, maybe. Uh, Oh, well, there's Page of Swords is, is some sort of enemy. You may be caught off guard, okay? You could be caught off guard by a message and you need to... I feel like you may need to refrain or restrain yourself. You could be dealing with somebody that is younger that is spouting off or they're jealous or they're angry or they're being assertive or something like that. They're trying to control a situation, saying something, you know, with nasty words, you know. Anyway, anyway, we do have some a message that you don't want to hear or being caught off guard. Somebody could be testing your patience, put it that way. <clears throat> Temperance, interesting. I just said somebody may be testing your patience. This is a card of patience. Now, we have Leo, we have Sagittarius, we also have Aries, or Air Signs, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Leo, Sagittarius, and Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have somebody here that is, uh, I feel like their patience, your patience is definitely going to be tested, obviously. You're going to need to uh, control yourself, control your temper. You're gonna, something is going to happen where you need to control your temper. This is a test of patience, definitely. It's also a card of change and evolution and accepting and going with the flow cooperating you know if you, if something is has ended allow it don't don't fight it something could definitely make you angry okay with that page of swords reverse could have something to do with a child or somebody that acts immature that likes to fight that is very aggressive Mastering your emotions is the name of the game for the day. Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles. It's interesting because we have a rat in this card. I don't know if you can see the rat down there. We have a rat. So I mean, I'm not sure if we do have a rat. We definitely could with the with the page of swords reverse. This is like an enemy. Okay, enemy in the camp or somebody that is uh could be a rat. Like a tattle tattle you know. I think when I was a kid they used to call that a narc, but now narc has a whole other name, right? Anyhow, um Mm. Page of Pentacles reversed. It is there is going to be a change with that Temperance card because you're going to need to accept something. You're going to need to allow it and just it is what it is. There's, there's whatever's happening is meant to happen. Five of Pentacles is some sort of hardship, you know. Uh, Somebody needs some help. There could be addictions here. Somebody needs help. They may be going overboard. They, they're, they're, you know, sometimes people beg for help in odd ways. You know, with but you know, you have to look beyond the words. Okay, somebody may be begging for help with negative behavior. You know, it's called negative attention. But 
you know, we, we may have somebody here that, you know, with a page of uh, swords reversed, it could be somebody that, I don't know if this, per this person has some mental health issues or they're angry or they're upset or they, they can't master their emotions. They can't restrain themselves. They need to restrain themselves. Somebody could be picking a fight with that page of swords reversed. Pick, 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 pick. Anyhow, um, page of pentacles reversed. Dead end. Lack of follow through. No focus. Lack of lack of commitment. Somebody is lacking common sense. They may be unhealthy. Somebody is unhealthy. There is with the five of pentacles. This is an unhealthy situation. Five of pentacles and page of pentacles reversed. Unwilling to put in the work. Un we have somebody here that is unwilling to uh, put in the work that they need to change because temperance is a card of change it really is it's part of evolution change is part of evolution so somebody's unwilling to put in the work this is somebody that doesn't want responsibility there, there's there's somebody here that may be uh, well, they obviously need help somebody needs help They need to find their self-discipline to change, but they don't have the... This person's a slacker. And they have a victim mentality. Eight of pentacles next to the temperance reversed. Four of pentacles reversed. A lot of pentacles here. This is about stability. I use this deck. I've had this deck for a long time. I just dug it out. Uh, four of pentacles reversed. Letting go. Um... We have somebody here that's been very, very stubborn. There could be financial loss here. Somebody's been, uh, well, the eight of, eight of Pentacles is trying to change. Because next to the Temperance. Somebody is really trying to change. They, it's like they're going to be putting in effort to change or they've been trying to change, but there's some sort of no follow through it's like i want to change and so it's like i feel like we have somebody here that is struggling with making a change they keep on uh, giving up or not following through with the effort you know there's a need to master your raw emotions and control yourself strength is a card of self-discipline and so isn't temperance so there's a need for self-discipline here put in the work don't give up don't give up if you want change if you want something better you can't give up you can't you can't give up you have to be responsible you have to accept responsibility you have to maybe there maybe you need help maybe you need to ask for help i don't know we have somebody here that is very insecure that they it's like they're trying to drop something or let go of something that they have been holding on to. And I feel like there's been some sort of avoidance, like avoiding the challenge. You can't, this is a with nine of wands reverse. This is avoiding challenge, great personal fear, you know, angry, hard feelings. This is like facing life challenges and angry about everything that life has thrown. It's like, this is overwhelming. <clears throat> we do have somebody here that is overwhelming. They're overwhelmed. They're overwhelmed. There's going to be a change. There is a change. Everything is going to work out as it should. But we have somebody here that needs help because they don't have the stamina or the drive or the ability to follow through. And I feel like we have somebody here that is extremely unhealthy. They're unhealthy and they just don't... Uh, they don't want to put in the effort, right? They don't want to put in the work. They, they, they may... You know, it's like they, it's going to be work for this, for to have peace and harmony and balance with that temperance card, to have the better life or whatever it is, it's going to require work, you know, and the biggest part of the work is the self-discipline to change. So somebody needs to find that self-discipline to change, you know, to let go of whatever it is that you've been holding on to and somebody has been holding on to something but putting in work and putting in effort to let go is 
is definitely part of this. So we have somebody here is, that is going to be putting in effort to let go. This is somebody that is getting creative. I feel like we have a very hard worker here who, um, I don't know if they're going to be, it's like they're begging, they're begging, they're begging, they, you know, or, and maybe they're begging in ways that you don't expect. You know, you have to look beyond the words, okay? You know, you have to look beyond the words. Mm. giving up giving up somebody because the nine of wands nine of wands reverse is like giving up this person has been wounded you know they've been they've been growing weary but they've been thinking about giving up i feel like they've held out as long as they can they've tried they've tried it's like i feel like they've been begging for help and i'm not sure if they haven't been getting the help because people haven't been seeing it you know, it's like they haven't been listening. They, they've been too involved in their own stuff, in their own things that they were doing. It's been missed. I feel like something's been missed or overlooked. Ah, fell out. Devil reverse. Now, this does, I feel like this has to do with a, a, either a need to break free or things getting worse. This is some sort of obsession, addiction. Okay, it's not healthy. This is breaking free from an unhealthy bond or things will get worse. So we do have somebody here that is in a, this is extremes, right? It is in reverse. This is extremes, extremely unhealthy. So we do have somebody here that needs to make a change, you know, because we think about temperance, what comes before temperance is death, okay? So it's time for a change. It is time for, it's time to break free from this unhealthy behavior. Whether you're obsessed with somebody that, you know, isn't interested in commitment or isn't giving you anything. That uh, obsession is when you're begging somebody for something and they're not giving it to you. Okay? And you're unwilling to let go because of so and we do have possessions here. We have possessions and, and need for something, need to allow, need to accept, need to, somebody needs to accept help or they need to accept the reality of, of whatever is happening. But anyhow, um, we do have a need to break free from a toxic, unhealthy, healthy situation. Well, you already talked about obsession. This could be within a person, a person, infatuation, lust, you know, a toxic bond tied to something, okay? If you don't break free, things are going to get worse, okay? It is a dead end. This is a dead end. The ultimate outcome is a dead end with the page of pentacles reversed, okay? It's right around the corner, okay? That's a dead end. This is, this is, it is a dead end. You need to let it go. Now, if it's not a person that you are obsessed with, this could be a bad habit, okay? This is an addiction of some sort. This could be drugs, it could be drinking, it could be eating, it could be spending, it could be smoking. It's something that is uh, very unhealthy that brings you some sort of gratification but doesn't serve you long term, okay? So there's a need to break free or things are going to get worse. It could end in disaster. So you better find your self-discipline. You're going to receive news. Somebody is receiving news or a message that they don't want to hear. You have to change. If you don't change, it's going to end in disaster. Okay? This is extreme anxiety and depression. Deep, 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 dark place. Okay? It's extremes. So we have some, and, it, and, and there's a need for healing. There's a need to get some help. Somebody may need professional help or they need to find their self-discipline to, to let go of this possession or obsession or addiction, whatever it is. We have somebody here that has been holding on for dear life and it feels like they need to really amp, uh, amp it up. It's like you need to put in effort. You really need to put in effort. If it means that you have to ask for help, then so be it. Go ask for help. Change is needed, period. It is really, really, really needed. Um... Mm. Letting go of a toxic, unhealthy situation. Not going to go down that path anymore. Putting in a lot of effort. Putting in a lot of work. Going with the flow. Wanting something better. 
Somebody wants something better. They do. But in order to get it, it's not just going to be given. It's not good. You're going to have to find your backbone in your uh, ability to put in effort, okay? You're going to be tested. Your, your addiction, your desire, your greed, your lust, your, your uh, desire to have whatever this codependent situation is, is going to be on the surface, okay? It's going to be big on this day. And you're going to be needing to control your self, okay? You're going to need to control yourself. You're going to need to have self-control. You're going to need to have self-discipline to change. You're going to need to put in effort. If, you, if you're feeling like you are close to giving up and abandoning how far you've come because of that nine of wands that we saw. You've come so far. If you think that you are about to give up and somebody is about to give up, they may give up and it could end in disaster. It could. It could end in disaster. It absolutely could end in a dead end. Use that as a metaphor. Okay? So you need to find your way to manage your feelings. Temperance card. Okay, you need to find your self-discipline to change and work hard. If, you're, if you feel like you are about to give up, go work, go get creative, go create something. Go sit at your desk and create something. Okay, use your artistic ability to create something. Um, create a new project. Do whatever you got to do to get your mind off of this addiction or this obsession or whatever sit at your desk maybe some of you it's, it's something that can make you money maybe you you draft up a, a new book or you draft up a, a a new idea you know or you set new goals or whatever it is okay you're gonna need on this day to uh find a way you need to find a way um to manage your feelings okay and have the self-discipline and put in a lot of work to change okay um this is this is very toxic it is extremely unhealthy it leads to a dead end page of pentacles reverse this is absolutely positively a dead end this is a blocking you from your goals this addiction devil's underneath it the devil reverse is blocking you from stability security financial abundance it's blocking you okay there's a need to let this go for a pentacles reverse let it go let it go let it go it's some sort of codependency or obsession let it go and we may even have somebody here that has some mental health issues with the page of swords reverse that just can't let it go because and, and maybe it's because of pride we did have the strength card their pride may be in the way you know or they're in they don't want to believe it we may have somebody there here that just doesn't want to believe the truth um Somebody could be let go from their job as well. I mean, I hate to say that. We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles reversed, and the Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles reversed. Okay, we may have somebody here that is letting go, being let go. They're being let go from their job. Maybe, maybe somebody's making changes. Okay, there's definitely some changes here. We get the World card reversed on the bottom. Clinging, clinging to the past, staying stuck in the present, unwilling to make changes, unwilling. <sighs> no success, lack of accomplishment, resisting, resisting, somebody's resisting. They haven't learned their lesson. They're resisting change, okay? They're, and there's, it starts with change with that temperance card. They're resisting. Oh, my goodness gracious. World card reversed.
unwilling, unwilling. Somebody is definitely unwilling. <laughs> let go, let go, let go of that toxic situation. It doesn't bring you any success. I mean, the world card reversed is, is no success. It's no victory, right? This is laziness. This is lacking goals. This is refusing, refusing to explore new avenues. Somebody keeps on looking back. They keep on repeating, repeating negative patterns, repeating negative mistakes, you know, repeating their same mistakes over and over and over again. It's time to close that chapter of your life. It is. A better life is waiting. A better life is definitely waiting. This is like an attitude adjustment. Somebody needs an attitude adjustment, but they're unwilling to step into the unknown territory. They're unwilling to step forward. They're unwilling to change. So, you know, I'm not sure. I mean, the devil reverse is a disaster. It really is. It's like if, if you don't break free from this... I don't know what it is. It's an obsession or it's an addiction or it's a toxic bond. It's something that you must break free from. But there's extreme stubbornness here. There's laziness, a lot of laziness. I don't want to put the effort in. I'm going to play the victim. I choose to be a victim. Rather than putting in the work. Mm. Somebody needs to focus. They really, really need to put in effort or they're, you know, they could. Ten of Pentacles reversed. This is complete loss. Complete loss. It is. This is an unhealthy foundation, whether it's at work or home. It's unstable. This is a disaster of some short sort. It is losing it all. This is uh, an unstable business or home life, financial loss, financial ruin, a loss of money. We could even have gambling here. There's financial burdens here. There is. We have somebody here that needs to control. They may need to control their spending. You know, this could be, this could be very extremely materialistic and things getting out of control. Either way, something is out of control and there's a need to get it under control. There absolutely is. This is a complete, total loss. Complete. I don't know if somebody has lost their money or they've lost their income, you know, and they're burying their pain and addictions. So they could go overboard. I'm just, I'm just telling you. That could certainly happen. We do have a need for moderation. Somebody could definitely be losing, losing their job or losing their a source of income because of their behavior and this looks like it this has something to do with control whether they, they, they can't control themselves they can't control their anger i mean the devil either upright or reversed is anger you know we do have somebody here that is angry you know and everybody can see it people can read read that you can see an angry person from instantly okay especially if you're awoken i mean you can you can you can sense somebody's anger instantly so somebody is definitely losing. I think feel like they're losing uh, or they've lost some sort of financial stability or they're about to. 
or something that they were holding on to for dear life and, and it's, it's about security it could be a, it doesn't have to, it could be a person that was providing financial stability you know or it could be somebody that um, was only in the relationship for financial stability We do have somebody that is, either could be a change in residence, you know, whether it's home or business. There is definitely going to be a change. Absolutely. Temperance, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed. Okay? I mean, Ten of Pentacles reversed is the end of, could be the end of a legacy, the end of a hier hierarchy, um, total financial loss, loss of a business, loss of a home, loss of uh, income. You know, complete loss, complete, huge, huge loss, huge loss. Four of Pentacles reversed right next to it. Loss of stability. And this, in loss of security. And we do have insecurity here. With the Five of Pentacles is insecurity. The Page of Pentacles is insecure. We have somebody here that is very insecure. Okay, and, and, and maybe they're, so they're being let go because of their addictions or their insecurities or their temper. Their temper. First card out is temperance, which is about temper. And this may have to, it could have to do with a relationship because the Ten of Pentacles is about home or business. So family, business, or relationships. This is a loss. It is definitely a loss. <clears throat> Eight of Cups reversed on the bottom. Somebody's been thinking about leaving for quite some time. I feel like they're gonna they're either gonna be let go or they're gonna leave. There's an alteration that is needed. There's been a delay. Somebody's been pretending that they're okay, but they're not. There's been a lot of disappointment there anyway. Three of, pen three of wands reversed. This is unprepared, lack of foresight. So somebody is unprepared. This is disappointment, definitely. Somebody is very impatient. It's like they didn't do their research or they, they went someplace maybe spontaneous and it didn't work out. This is also focusing on the past. And we had the world card reverse, which is focusing on the past as well. There's a need to move on. And I also feel like we have somebody here that went somewhere. They may want to go back. They wish that they could go back. We had the Eight of Cups reversed a minute ago. This is like, I wish I could go back to the way things were. I wish that I could go back, but it's too late. It feels like it is too late. Anyway, Three of Wands reversed. This is unprepared. Lack of foresight. Missing an opportunity. Somebody is missing an opportunity. They've been wasting time watching something sail away. You know, something is sailing. There's sailing away. Somebody has missed something. Somebody is losing an opportunity, whether it's maybe they maybe uh, they were just lazy and they didn't put in effort and the opportunity is being given to someone else and they wish that they could go back. Somebody wishes that they could go back, but they, they didn't, you know, there may have been possessiveness or fighting over money or something like that. There is going to be a loss. I do believe that there is. Whatever it is, it's definitely financial, okay? There's financial loss here. There's insecurity and instability. There is no doubt about it. We have somebody here that uh, is very, very, very unstable. And I don't know if they've experienced huge financial loss or they are about to. We're dealing with Capricorn. We have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sagittarius. We had uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We also had Leo. We also have Aries with the, the Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But we also, it doesn't matter. Every, it doesn't really matter who you are. This could be a water sign as well. We have somebody here that has an unstable home or big. There's going to be an ending. It's going to be a sudden ending. Just so you know. We have somebody here that is not stable at all. And I don't know where the camera ended. But they're not stable. They're not solid. They're not secure. They're, they're very unstable. Okay. They're losing something. Or they've lost something of value. This is somebody that is extremely materialistic, possessive, not very hard working. We got somebody, or very greedy. It could be either way. I mean, we could have somebody that just doesn't want to put in any effort, or we have somebody here that extreme that is extremely greedy. It feels like we have somebody here that's wasting a lot of money as well. They're spending a lot, or they wasted a lot of money. You know, there's some, there's like a lot of money that is being thrown or or, uh, or has been uh, down the drain. It went down the drain, you know. There's unhealthy behavior here. We also have somebody that may be spending money on their looks, you know, to make themselves look fake. You know, fake looks, you know, they, they this is something that is not very practical. It's not very realistic and, you know... It's a waste. There's a waste here. A waste of money. Wasting money. Wasting money. There's a need to allow and accept. Maybe you need to allow and accept yourself for who you are. Four of Pentacles. Reverse. Letting go. Letting go. Somebody could also be coming back around, and I think that we said that already, or if I didn't say it, I was thinking it. Uh, Eight of Cups reversed and the Three of Wands reversed. That is like somebody coming back around. Maybe this person has changed. Maybe they're going to they're gonna be putting in effort. Maybe they've changed their mind. Um, Page of uh, Swords is mind, and Temperance has changed. So somebody may have changed their mind. Maybe they neglected or ghosted somebody and didn't put in any effort because uh, they were in an unstable foundation already. Okay, they they maybe maybe they're coming back around. Somebody somebody is gonna be caught off guard by a message. Okay, whatever this message is is going to involve a need to control yourself, to master your emotions. You're going to need to go with the flow. Allow things to happen. Take it one day at a time. Don't force anything. I feel like we have somebody here also that may, and I'm telling another story now, that may have felt inadequate, like they didn't have enough to offer. This person may be coming back around. I do feel like there could be somebody that is coming back around. Eight of Cups reverse and Three of Wands reverse. This person may have, you know, uh, been tied to a situation still. Maybe they were tied. That's why they didn't put in effort. You know, they were tied to something. They had to let that go. Something to do with money or the home or business or a partnership or something like that. But anyhow, there is going to be a release. There is going to be a release with the Four of Pentacles and this is a release. You are unprepared for something. You are unprepared. Somebody may be asking you for help. Somebody could be asking you for help or you may be asking them for help. There could be an apology here. Somebody may be hearing the words, I'm sorry. It could be even, I'm sorry for your loss. I mean, I hate to say that, but there is definitely a huge loss here. And I, I don't know if it's a loss of money or a loss of a job or something like that. Knight of Pentacles upright. Knight of Pentacles upright is... A slow and methodical approach. Somebody is going to be making a slow, methodical approach. This is a planner. 
This is somebody that has been planning something. They're about to give somebody an opportunity or they're going to give an offer. They're going to make an offer or an invite. Feels like it's a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. We got a lot of earth here. We got a lot of earth here. Or somebody that's just getting practical or they're finding their backbone or they're finding their focus or they're finding or they've found an ability to break free. Maybe they've been in a disastrous situation that they were tied to and they finally let it go. I mean, that could certainly be the case. But the Knight of Pentacles is a new offer or it's been laying a foundation. Uh, this is somebody that is going is coming in with a solid, stable offer. You are unprepared for it. Everything happens for a reason. The first card out is the Temperance card, which is a card of reason and purpose. The last card now is the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is an opportunity for stability, for security, something long term where you can use your skills. There is a, somebody does have a skill or they're going to be receiving an offer or an invite from an individual that sees some sort of value in them. You are unprepared. I don't know if somebody let go of a toxic situation and here comes a stable, solid offer. And this is the reason. This is the reason that didn't work out. This is the reason you were abandoned and neglected and that person gave up because it was an obsession. It was toxic. It wasn't healthy. You know, it's almost like as soon as you let it go, there's there's something real here. You get a better offer. So I don't know. Woo! Ace of Wands. How things change. Boy, things change fast, don't they? That's a fast change right there. Ace of Wands is a new spark. It's a new flame. It's a sudden desire. Just go for it. It's a fresh start. It's a blank slate uh, or a blank canvas. Starting from scratch. New direction, new desire, sudden desire, sudden, very sudden. So we definitely have a sudden change here. Oh, I just got it to the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a positive change. It is positive. So the wheel is spinning somebody out of a dark situation in a new direction. This is being at the right place at the right time. Somebody could meet somebody at the right place at the right time. There could be a sudden attraction. Anyhow, we gotta go. Good luck.